Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I'm really excited to bring you this video. I am so excited. I just, I'm just aware now of this um, product for nails and it's called Color Street and it's nail polish strips. It is completely amazing. Um, there's these little these little strips that you put on your nails and it's nail polish. Um, and it's, you put it on there, it's dry. You, you don't have to wait for it to dry or anything like that. You just stick it on and go. And they last an incredibly long time. I had mine on for five days. I just had to take them off because I had to do some more videos. But um, it would have kept going if I had wanted it to. And I was super hard on my hands this past week. Completely amazing. I know this video is kind of long, but I would love it if you would watch it because um, there's a lot of really good information about this product in there. I do, um, you know, I show you how to apply it like three times, you know, on three different nails. I talk about it um, at the at the end. I give you my um, my thoughts on the wear test, and I let you take a look at it and how to remove it. So I really go into depth, and this is really great. And this product, um, I became aware of it. Never Naked Nails had it on her channel. And she had a giveaway, and I won. And um, her stylist, that's what they're called, stylists, and they hold nail bars, which is like parties. Don't get put off on it. This is a really great product. It seems like a really great company. Um, Mallory told me a bunch of things about the company. I read a bunch of things about the company, and I really, really like it, and I love the product. So anyways, Mallory um, sent me my free one that I won in the um, giveaway and I chose Fiji Shores so I'm gonna do a nice little Fiji theme here I also I did it as an accent so if you did want to skip through where I'm just polishing my nails to the actual application you could do that you're not gonna miss anything um, let's see and she also gave me another set so um, not this weekend because it's Labor Day weekend but the following weekend I'm gonna give you guys another video it'll be an extra one for that week and it'll be on a Friday so I hope you like it and um, when I believe in a product I don't expect to always get them free I buy it so I will be placing an order um, from Mallory and I will um, be doing some videos on it as well because I like it and I'll make sure that I can wear it for you know more than a week even so that'll be really great for me um let's see I all right I'm gonna sound like a commercial because <laughs> actually because this is what I think so you come home from work you're doing a bunch of stuff around the house the next day, I mean, you're looking at your nails and they're naked. And um, you're like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I don't want to be waiting for nail polish to dry. I want nice nails tomorrow for work or wherever you're going. You just pop these babies on and you're good to go. I mean, that's it. Um, I think I did forget one thing in the application process. Um, after you're done, you're supposed to wipe them off with alcohol, and I, I remembered the next day, so I don't think I mentioned it at all in the video, but it is, I believe, on the instructions. So, I would love it if you guys would all try this product. It would be completely amazing. Mallory, Mallory's got a bunch of good deals going on right now. Um, her All of her information is in the description box below. I would love it if you guys could, you know, purchase one one set from her and try it out. There's 16 pieces to a set, so you have plenty in case you mess up. It's a really great product. Um, also, well, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm, I'm not into, I'm not going to be into selling it or anything like that, but I am interested in that starter collection because I kind of have a nail polish thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like a collector. Um, but I'm kind of thinking about the starter collection. It's like $130, but you get like 10 strips. Um, you get 70, 75 twosies. So you can use them for accents. How exciting is that? Um, and then some other supplies and a bag. So it's pretty cool. It's a really good deal. And then you can order, you know, your own. I think they do, I actually, I know they do. Um, I don't remember what it was, what she told me, but they do have a certain amount that you have to order, you know, to keep going. Um, however, you know, if you just purchase your kit, purchase some, some stuff, I know I would have enough to last me the rest of my life. 
<laughs> Anyways, so um, I hope you all take advantage and, you know, really try this out. Try this out. And um, it's, let's see, her website is Mallory'sNailBar.com. Uh, it's all in the description box below how to get in touch with her, how to, um, you know, purchase from her. She's a really great person. And if you sign, if you get a kit, sign up under her. So it will be really, really nice. Um, so, and I don't endorse products that I don't believe in. And obviously, I, don't, I wouldn't buy it if I didn't like it. So definitely, I want to put that out there that I'm going to be purchasing a few of them. So I'm not sure exactly how much right now. I might go with the thing where you buy three, get one free. I just might do that. But anyways, so I'm going to quickly shut up right now <laughs> and let's get into the video. I hope you guys love it. Um, in the comment below, in the comments below, let me know if you like the idea, if you're going to make a purchase from Mallory and what, um, what you're going to purchase. That'd be nice. And if you do a purchase from Mallory, make sure that you let her know that you came from that. I, I, um, whatever. I sent you over there. <laughs> you heard it from me. I don't know if there'll be a spot in her website, you know, like to make a comment while you're placing your order, or you maybe can just shoot her an email or, you know, a message over on Instagram. She's on Instagram. Um, oh, one thing, these things are gorgeous. The catalog, the website doesn't do them justice. Um, they're just a thousand times more beautiful than you could ever even imagine. So, well, so I hope you were, you were really like that. So anyways, let's get started. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so here's the set that I won um, from Never Naked Nails um, giveaway from Color Street. And um, the consultant is Mallory Fortune. She is so sweet. <laughs> And I just love this set. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out of the package because the, the catalog and the website doesn't do these justice. Look, look at these. Are you picking up the sparkle? Yeah, there you go. There's the sparkle. They are so absolutely gorgeous in person. They are simply, simply remarkable. And I, I completely love these. These are going to be fun to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, okay, first, first in the prepping stage, you wash your hands. Then you wipe off um, your nails with alcohol. And I actually took the shine off my nails and then wiped it down with alcohol. Now these other fingers that are shiny, um, this one and this one, I'm going to put some nail polish on because I kind of, I'm all about the accent nail. So I want to use these as accent nails. And what I want to do is I want to match um, the dark blue waves right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this dark blue jelly um, color from Caption. And um, this is really pretty. Um, Caption, this polish, I used it last weekend. I can't remember when I put it on. If I'm pretty sure. Yes, let me think. When did I do my nails? I don't know. I think it was like Wednesday I did my nails or earlier in the week. I don't know, but it was like over a week and um, it lasted, it lasted, no wait, it was been, I don't know. It lasted like a week and I had like one teeny tiny little chip. That's pretty remarkable. Nail polish chips on me right away and I didn't have anything special. I, the only thing I had on I think was this base coat and another base coat because I was wearing a dark color. So anyways, um, this is what I'm going to use today. And what I have on is my um, peel-off base coat. And I'm going to put this over it because <laughs> I'm still afraid of blue staining my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, paint them. And we'll, we'll, I mean, let me just do this and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to put my first coat of the blue caption jelly polish and 
Actually, I think this might only need one coat. All right, so I'm gonna do that to the nails that are getting the nail polish and come back when it's dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna add um, China Glaze Fairy Dust to the um, jelly polish. And this looks great over dark colors. I'm gonna do that to all of my blue nails and then come back. Okay, so I top coated these nails and um, they're all good. So now we're gonna work with these um, color strips. So these are real nail polish. A strip and I'm going to open it really close to the edge so that I can slip these back in here and seal them up and um, reuse the extras another day. Let me just open these and take them out. Okay, so we have the strips right here. And we're just going to figure out which ones to use on what fingers. So I'm going to use this one on this finger, and I think this one on this finger. So, actually, yeah, you can actually just rip them apart. Well, that works. You don't need any scissors. Then, let's see. We're going to get the instructions out here. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We're going to remove the clear cover. Okay, so this, what these are is a base coat and then the color and um, or design and then a top coat and then it's sandwiched in between two, goodness knows what. <laughs> so we're going to peel and polish the clear cover off. Oh, then we're going to peel the polish strip. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I'm peeling the polish strip. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to lay it <laughs> on my finger and try to show you guys this. Okay. Oh, my finger. I'm going to lay it right here. Checking the camera to make sure I'm in frame for this. There we go. It'll take a little bit of a little learning curve here. Good thing they give you some extra strips in case you need them. But look at that. There we go. I got it on there and I really like it. Got a big wrinkle right here. There we go. Got the wrinkle out. There. And then what I'm going to do, because I've seen, I watched some videos, <laughs> so I know how to do this. And I saw some people used the rest of it. If, if your nails are short enough, you might be able to get away with using the rest of it on a different nail. So we're going to test that out. So I'm just going to lay this right back here for right now. And I'm going to... Push this down, curve it over, and then they give you a little, in here is, in here is um, a couple of alcohol pads and a little file. I'm not going to use that file, and I didn't use the alcohol pads, I had alcohol. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I mean it's kind of I'm gonna use a finer grit um nail you know, file here. I'm not sure my glass one would work. So I'm just gonna file it. I'm just going to keep pushing it down, filing the edge. Now I'm just wondering if like acetone would work <laughs> to get that excess off. And I can't imagine why it wouldn't. You know, let's test that theory out. Some of the people that I saw use them like pulled it or whatever, but you know, I think this might just, yeah, look at that. You know, I'm guessing they're thinking, oh, you know, the less things that you have to do, whatever, I don't know. But to me, it's way easier using acetone. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, one down. A whole bunch more to go. I just think you might like to see the progression, so I am going to put them on. But I want you to watch the end too because I'm doing a wear test. So at the end of the video, um, you know, there'll be some more information about what I'm doing and what I've applied it over. And where did my other strip go? Let me find that. Okay, here it is. Well, anyways, um, I just think I'm going to give you some more information. Like these nails are all bare, but this one I have my protective um, coat on because I'm, my nails are long right now and I'm deathly afraid. <laughs> to go naked, <laughs> to go bare nails. Um, I really am. So I just, I want to make sure that, um, I protect them. Okay. So now we're going to work with this one, the little feet. These are really adorable. Okay, so the feet, we're going to go here. Okay, I don't want to get you too close, but I don't want to get you too far away. Make sure you guys can see this. Okay, now this one actually, when you have the design, just a tip, is put the design like like we've got feet here. So because, you know, part of this strip is probably going to be trimmed off or whatever, you want to make sure that your feet are on there. So you want to put that part on your nail first. If that makes any sense of what I just said. So that my feet, my little feet are on my nail. They're not my feet, but <laughs> the little sand feet. And still got some wrinkling. There we go. Just keep lifting it and smoothing it out, and it eventually smooths out really good. Okay, over here we've got a lip, but that's all excess. So I'm just going to trim that up a bit. 
First, I'm going to trim off this edge right here. Okay. Do that over to the side. Right. And then I'm just going to come in here and lift it up a little bit. And trim off the edge. There. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good for my first try. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this nail off and then come back. Okay, I trimmed a little bit too much off of that other one, so I went and used the other half of it, and I got it on so you didn't have to watch me struggle. So if you do get wrinkles, just lift it up a little bit and pull on it. Now, the longer it stays on there, you can't, I didn't, I couldn't like peel it right off. <laughs> I thought maybe I just peel this right off. Yeah, these don't peel off. They're made to stay on there. It says up to two weeks. I'm going to test it for a week um, because I don't have two weeks. Um, I don't have two weeks to test this. Maybe if I get ahead of my other videos, I have got another set here to try out. Um, I will test that one. Um, but otherwise, I, I have to take this off on Saturday. So let's see, we've got a little bit of overhang here, so we'll try well, maybe this fine grit isn't working well. Maybe I need a rougher one. Hold on. Let's see. This one's a little wrinkly, but you know what? There's a learning curve with everything new. Actually, okay, there we go. That turned out good. Okay, and it says you don't need to put anything on top. It's, this is it. You're good to go. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I do have, I have this to try to like push my little silicone tool to try to push some uh, wrinkles out or whatever but I think I would have to like stretched it more and then I wouldn't get the wrinkles so that's good so I've got two of them on there so now we're gonna go with the third one okay so I'm using this size for my thumb so again we're gonna peel off the top And peel off the polish. These are pretty cool. <laughs> I was going to say, and they smell like perfume. <laughs> I think it might be the envelope. Um, Mallory put some perfume on it, and it's, gosh, it smells so good. It's hanging over the edge a little bit. Okay, try to get close to the edge, but not over. Okay, there we go. And then stretch it across. There we go. 
There we go. Now we don't have any wrinkles. Let's not stretch that other one enough. That's perfect. Okay. And another thing I saw in a video is they kind of went in along the edge with like one of these sharp tools and kind of like indented it. And you can kind of rip it and it actually peels apart pretty easy. So you can do that this way too. Just giving you a few different ways that I saw. And this one actually works really well. I kind of like this way. Okay, that's, oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Let me just like push it down a little bit with my rubber tool here. Oh yeah, I think this is the way to go. Okay, I just wanted to try a few different things. Sorry, you guys are guinea pigs. <laughs> Anyways, and then we're going to get rid of that. I'll just save it over here in case I can use it on another nail. And then I saw a lot of them sometimes just pulled it and ripped it down like that. Oh, that works out good too. And then just, oops, we got some wrinkles on the top. The wrinkles on the top, you need to pull it. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Okay, just file away any excess. Do you guys hear that noise? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> None whatsoever. We have storms or something like that going around tonight. It's so weird. I have no idea what that is out there. Okay. Something weird. It's like our so weird sounding. I don't know if you guys can hear that. We've got some kind of flood thing going on here. Okay, so this is good. So now on this on this hand, I've got my protective base coat and I have a peel off base coat because I wanted to try it over both. Um I do so we'll see, you know, if they last both the same or whatever. And I got a little dent here. I got to fix on my nail polish. There we go. I'll put it faster at top coat. It must not have been totally dry. We're just not going to even worry about that. So, all right, let me, let me just put these other two hands um, on off camera and then I'll come back. Well, first, first let me show you how I used um, the other side. So the other side... What I did was I just cut right here. Cut along the edge. There we go. And I mean these are just really cute. I love these. You know me in accents. <laughs> I just love these little accents. These are so cute. And this one I'm not sure is going to fit. No, that one doesn't fit there. It will, however, fit on this one. So I, this is just kind of what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to fit this to my nail and then find another one for this nail and then I'll come back. Okay, so here we go. Um, this one went on really, really well. This one, I used the wrong size, and then I tore it in the middle trying to stretch it off. But what I did was I used this to push down and get off that lip. And I'm really liking 
um, how this, how that, I like that. So um, this is what we have for now. Um, let's see, it's Monday night, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I can eat something, go to bed, maybe even do dishes. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to check back in with you guys on Saturday to finish off this video and tell you how I like these. So, um, oh, I found out what that weird noise was. Okay, we have torrential rain, flood warnings. It looked like teeny mini hurricane out there. I felt really so bad for Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> that she had to go outside. I felt even worse for me that I had to go outside and pick it up. So, <laughs> anyway, not a good situation all the way around. <laughs> but anyway, um, anyways, enough of that. So, anyways, so, um, I'm just, these are so cute. Oh, I just love these. Thank you, Mallory. So, anyways, we'll check back. Um, they're just, they're really easy to apply you know it does take a little bit to get the hang but you will oh here we're gonna put these back in here what I did was um, it's hard to shove the whole big thing back inside and it's hard just to like pull out one um, but you know I think these would be really nice things to market as accent nails and put in separate little you know, little baggies, um, so you could just use a couple at a time or whatever. Um, so I did make my suggestion to the company. However, I don't think they really listen to you. They're like, well, that's not the way they're marketed. And I'm like, well, you should be listening to your customers because like everybody wants to save these things. And there's like 16 of them. So even if you did all 10 of your nails, you still have six more. I don't know about you, but I don't want to throw those away. And a lot of other people don't because a lot of consultants are, you know, showing them how to reseal these back in here. So anyways, if you li like it, and you know, you guys might um, go on and put a note into the company. Put a little, send them an email. Maybe they'll change their minds. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, it's, I think you could probably, um, like, sandwich them in between some wax paper and then slide them in a lot easier. I'm going to just try to do it the hard way because I don't know why. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Do it the hard way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm definitely cutting them down a little bit made it easier to slide in oh maybe I'm doing it this way too let's see will they fit this way yeah okay here we go right so now these are real nail polish strips so we want to make sure that we get all the air out and um, if you have, I don't know, if you have anything that seals off ends, push all the air out. You can seal off the end. Um, you can use an iron. You can use, you know, whatever to melt this back together. I happen to have this weird little tool here that I use to um, melt off the ends of my... Um, what do you call it? Satin bracelets. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to melt this closed and then I'll come back and show you. Okay. So there we go. I sealed that back a little bit messy, but it will work. So there we go. And i uh, probably open it in a couple weeks and use some more. Okay. So it is Saturday and these are amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's get you in a little closer. Um, I've had no problems with these at all. They're on just as I put them on. Obviously, this hand had a little bit of a learning curve, you know, with this finger. And then this one I ripped because I used the wrong size. So these are just like, this is my first hand. 
and um, so there's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, if you don't like how it turned out when you put it on, there's 16 of them, so you can just, you know, remove it with nail polish remover and um, reapply a different one. Um, also, I forgot to tell you to wipe it down with alcohol after you put it on. So um, I did that. Actually, I had forgotten, so I did that the next day. And I've gotten not really like any chips or anything like that. I have been super hard on my hands. I've been doing a ton of dishes this week. Um, it's just all kinds of stuff. I'm just like really in there <laughs> doing housework and stuff like that. So, um, they've held up perfectly. Um, now this hand was all put on bare nails and then this hand, I put my, um, strengthening base coat on because I just like that. And then this one I put over a, um, a peel off base coat, which I mean, I, the I know, the base coat I don't think I applied it real smoothly, so um I had I had some bubbling issues, but they didn't see oh yeah there it is right there I had a little bubbling issue, but that's that's my error on applying the base coat um that the peel off base coat I've done that once before anyway so and all the blue nails they're all on top of peel off base coats oh speaking of the blue nails this is. Well, obviously, you just saw it a couple of minutes ago. This caption, um, jelly polish, um, no chips, no wear. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if other polishes are like that. It's completely amazing. I've never seen a polish last. Let's see, it's been like five days. So, anyways, but it's time for me to take these off and to, um, you know, Oh, gosh, I don't know. Wrap up the video. So, um, basically, I'm going to buy some of these. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. Um, I, I have no doubt that this would last, you know, the 14 days that it says. None whatsoever. Um, it's a completely amazing product. So, here's the ones that I saved from last time. And we're going to take a little peek at these. I put them in a double bag. Um, you know, it's kind of curious to me, and I couldn't find my little book, but I wonder if I gave it to Amanda, because, you know, we all make those little, um, decals and save them on our photo albums, so I'm thinking, why, why wouldn't, I mean, this polish too, so I don't get it, but I do know that when you, you know, stick your polish to these mats, you can't leave it overnight out, or is it all dry? But I'm just wondering, I'll have to go back and find my directions for making, uh, my decals and see what's up with that. But let's take a look and see if these are still fresh, which, I don't know, they appear to be. So I'm just going to open these up. I'm going to get out one of these. I'll put that one back in there. And oh, they still feel pliable and find me. Okay, these haven't dried out at all. So, um, yeah, reseal your bags. Save them for accents. Um, they at least last a week, but since they lasted a week, I can't imagine why they wouldn't last even longer. Make sure you push all the air out, and then you seal it up again, and then I put it in a, another plastic bag and got all the air out. Okay, so right now we're going to remove these, and they can be removed with nail polish remover. Oh, and I did want to say one thing. You know, I was testing, you know, just a little while ago, you saw, I was testing the different ways of, um, you know, getting rid of the excess and I kind of really like pulling it and then just kind of like going in with your little tool and just cutting it off that's what I did with this finger um, nail and I and I've watched some other videos and that's what they were doing too um, I just kind of like that the acetone you know kind of got a little bit yeah you know I don't know and then obviously this one was the the file that was too smooth and this was the file that was rough which actually just came out just perfect too so they'll be two different ways 
I'm going to do another video um, the Friday after Labor Day Friday and um, obviously I'll be more of a pro at it and we'll see what other design I have. So right now let's take these off. Normally I use pure acetone to take off even my nail polish. I was doing um, like, I, I'm kind of soaking it a little bit um, just because I don't know, just kind of do that. Um, but here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Comes right off. No issues at all. Um, okay, so there's just a little bit of goo right here, but you know, that's going to come off with acetone. So look, there it goes. It's all gone. It was just on the edge. Oh my gosh. You know, this is such a remarkable product. I, I can't even tell you guys how great this product is. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Um, anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye.